I think it went well. You know, it was kind of it was more running than I expected. It's funny because Sam Cassell said uh, if we were in shape before the workout, you know, and uh, I understand why because we ran so much today. But it was a great workout. Everyone competed and it was fun. How many has this been for you at this point? Like eight or nine. You know, I've lost count, so you know, but I just know it's a lot at this point. When you go to these workouts. How much do you sort of study the team you're going to, what they're all about, the system they run, their roster, things like that? Oh, uh, you know, we I have a book that just shows you um, everything. It tells you like the city, the name, uh, stadium name, the roster, you know, contracts, everything. So you know, I read that. Me, and my agent go over that all the time, and and obviously, you know, it's, it's always good to go over the style of play because you know, basically, all my teams are up tempo teams, just like the Wizards. So it's it's, it's good. Speaking of a tempo team, you know, you play a lot of West Side UNLV, so how has, you know, kind of running with them helped you with? Oh, it's helped me a lot. You know, we always run. We ran seven o'clock in the morning. You know, we ran in practice three hours. So, you know, just mm -hmm. doing that has helped me a lot of transition to this. So it was, it was great. Mm -hmm. So, you know, at UNLV, you were known as defensive stopper. So what are some other aspects of the game that you think people don't really know that you want to kind of bring out? Oh, you know, I can I can put the ball on the floor a little bit, you know, create for myself and, uh, you know, score. I have a nice right hook. You know, I've, I've developed since uh, leaving college, and that's what people don't understand. So I, I, hopefully I can showcase it soon. So. What position do you see yourself in NBA? I think I see myself as a four. You know, uh, I can guard the four. Whatever you position you can guard, I think is what you play. You know, I guard the four. I guard the four well. And, and uh, you know, I can switch out. I can also guard the five, too. So, you know, I think four or five is my position in NBA. Mm -hmm. This draft is obviously tons of underclassmen. Uh, for you, what was the decision process to, to decide this was the time to go? Uh, you know, I, I won defensive player of the year twice in my conference. You know, and I realized that it was time to make the next move. And, uh, my, uh, you know, in, in next level, I'm, I'm a defensive player. You know, I'm not an offensive player. So in college, I don't think I would develop uh, develop properly. You know, even if I stay one more year, you know, I am what I am, and I'm a defensive player. So I decided to leave. You know, and just develop in the next level. When you see one guy after another after another decide to leave, did that at all influence your decision, or for you, was this is, this is what I want to do? And... Oh, definitely not. There's not a lot of power forwards in this draft that can play defense. I want to play defense. So you know, I think I'm one. You know. And I'm wondering, like, you know, kind of like all, all the power forwards, you know, I don't see no one that likes to play defense, so. I saw, I saw an article you said that like the joke came no Noah type of player. Is that, is that is that a guy that you kind of not model your game after, kind of see yourself having those type of uh, skill sets? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, just bringing energy. You know, when we down 20, I'll play hard. When we up 20, I'll play hard. And uh, also, I want to win defensive play of the year wherever I'm at. So, you know, just that would be, that'll be great. And that's why I, that's who I like to model after. There's not a lot of guys at any level, be it NBA or pickup league, want to play defense. How do you get that mentality that that's for you, those people you're calling card, what you want to showcase? Because, uh, you know, I, I take it personal when someone scores on me. I don't like when people score on me. I take pride in that. And that's, I've always taken pride in that. I just don't like the feeling. So, you know, just playing defense has always been what I do. It's even starting out playing when I was younger. So, and it's carried on to now. So. As far as the draft goes, what are your, what are your expectations at this point? We're still about a week out, but what are your expectations at this point in terms of where you, where you think you might hear your name come? I don't know. You never know. You know, like like I said, you know, not a lot of people play defense, and teams look at that kind of stuff. So you never know. I don't know, and you never know. So, so moving forward, like, what's some of the things that you'll take from this workout? Uh, just to get, uh, you know, just to, you know, just never give up, you know, show more energy, you know, because we ran a lot today, you know, I was kind of tired a little bit, you know, but next work I'm not going to show that I'm tired, so that helped me a lot.